Hey folks, it is Sunday, November 28th. The time is 7.30 a.m. and the temperature right now is around minus two degrees Celsius. And this is the intersection of Young and Heath Street West. And there's a look south down Young Street. And as you can see, we are having our first real snowfall of the season. And there's a look south down Young, or rather north up Young. It's early, folks. So this is something I've been waiting for for quite a while. And I woke up this morning, looked out my window and saw that it was snowing quite a bit. And I had another reason to be up so early. There was an article published in the Toronto Star today on me. So I went out and went to a store that fortunately was open and had fresh copies of the newspaper, so I picked up four copies. And I took note of the amount of snow that was coming down, and I made the decision to grab the camera, turn around, come out, and record it. I wouldn't normally go for a walk in the snow with an umbrella, but Given that I'm holding a camera, it's really the best way to keep snow off the camera and the lens and that sort of thing. So this is south down the east side of Young. And I think I'll just continue south towards downtown. Maybe I'll even make it all the way to Bloor Young. I think that's about two kilometers from here. As coming up is St. Clair Avenue. So this is in Midtown Toronto. I tried to hop on the subway to get here and realized it's Sunday, it wasn't open yet. So I ended up taking one of these 320 Blue Night buses. They run along the subway lines after the normal subway operating hours. And they come rather frequently. And there's a look west along St. Clair. And over there is St. Clair Station. And you can take the 512 streetcar east to St. Clair Station, and then it go, or rather west. Like I said, it's early. And then that'll continue on over to the stockyards area. I think in total they're expecting about five centimeters of snow today. And it's supposed to snow well into the afternoon. So if you're interested in that newspaper article on me, I did put a link to that in the community section of this 
YouTube channel. You can just click the community tab at the top. That should be the latest post there, if not one of the latest. Oh, there's the streetcar rumbling by. I also put a picture of that up on my Instagram account. And I've got a premiere of video at 9 a.m. So I've got a pretty busy Sunday morning for me. Normally, these are days to just kind of laze about. One thing I think Toronto needs to do to truly become a world-class city is keep the subways running 24-7. or at least a world-class transit city. I think it already is world-class in a lot of ways, although that's obviously a subjective term that doesn't really mean anything. And there's the bike lane. Doesn't look like there's any fresh cycling tracks on it yet. Yeah, and given the frequency of these buses, why not just keep the subway running? Although a counterpoint to that would be, it's actually quite convenient because the buses make more stops in the subway. And traffic is light enough that I probably got to where I was going quicker. So maybe that's a dumb idea. Already salting? Yeah. <laughs> the joys of winter. Thank you. <laughs> It keeps sewing like this, I'll have to get out and make another video or two today. I did a video around City Hall last night in the Cavalcade of Lights. Once again, for the first time this season, I am rocking my yellow toque. But I have left my shoe boot contraptions in the closet for now. I just got the running shoes on. Although that'll probably change later today. I'm not really one to overdress. It's only minus two and it's not that windy. No need for gloves. someone else jogging.
been so long since I've been out early on a Sunday morning. I don't even remember when the subway opens. It's probably 8 or 9 a.m. That would be on Sundays only. It's open much earlier than that the other six days of the week. Lunch, dinner, late night. I don't see breakfast there. And normally just up ahead here, you'd have a rather nice view of the northern end of the downtown skyline. But visibility, visibility is not the greatest. I was kind of hoping that this would be a cool thumbnail shot right here. But you can barely see the towers of Yorkville. And this is Shaftesbury, so there is Summer Hill Station just over there. Next up would be Rosedale Station. And here's the Summer Hill LCBO, otherwise known as the North Toronto Rail Station. It wasn't in service as a rail station for very long, but it's really quite fortunate that the structure has been kept around as we've lost quite a quite a lot of really interesting pieces of history. All right, let me check the camera lens. There's some moisture on it. Maybe I'll give it a wipe. Sorry about this folks, but I have a absolutely tiny preview window on this camera. So even if there is some snow or moisture on the lens, it doesn't always pick up when I look in the preview. There's a look at the craft beer selection at Toronto's best liquor store. Sounds like there's a train passing by on the Midtown line. Well, I can't see it. There's a neat fountain here that tips over. There goes the freight train. So last year's first snowfall of the year video, I recorded in Midtown, but a different section. That was a late night video. And this season's is more of an early morning video. I know my friends will be glad about this. Whenever I go out recently, 
I've been putting on a disclaimer that if it starts snowing, I'm going to run outside with my camera and try to capture it. So I was likely to disappear at any moment for maybe an hour or so at a time. But now we've got this out of the way with, that's not really going to be a thing now. And these 320 buses are going all the way up to Steeles. That's the northern border of the city. That one's completely empty. That one's relatively packed. So this area is the Summer Hill neighborhood. And maybe about a month and a half or so ago, I did a walk around here. Or it might've been more recent than that. I kind of lose track of these things. But I seem to recall walking along Roxborough Street there. And here is Roxborough Street East. Here's a cyclist. So in this stretch of Young, the subway is just off to the east. And it actually runs above ground for a portion. Everything to the left. To the south of here would be the Rosedale neighborhood now. That's a rather affluent neighborhood in the city. It's the, by most accounts, the third most expensive neighborhood after the Bridal Path and Forest Hill. And here you'll find one of the great TTC subway stations, Rosedale. It's got a very retro feel to it. There's Ramsden Park. So I'm just gonna head south where downtown begins. And I haven't seen a bus pass in a while. I wonder if the subway is firing up at eight, although I haven't heard any trains go by either. Now, when's the last time a southbound 320 bus went by?
And this is Almer Avenue. So this becomes Rosedale Valley Road to the left. That's a rather scenic drive or bike ride. Or a walk if you're up to it. She's braving the snow on a share bike. There's the Masonic Temple. I've mentioned it before, but I saw my first ever concert there back in April of 96. That was the Foo Fighters. And a few months later, I went back and saw a Gin Blossoms concert. And the first opening act on that bill was Dishwalla. And little did I know that we'd be hearing a whole lot of their one hit wonder song counting blue cars after that. I don't even remember that song playing during their set. And the guy I went to that concert with is now a weatherman at one of the major radio stations here. Church Street. This is the northern terminus of church. It kind of goes southeast a bit and then it'll go straight south all the way down to just past the Esplanade. And that is Davenport Road. There's look up at the temple. Briefly, where they filmed the Mike Bullard show. CTV took that building over for a period of time. They also converted it into the studios of MTV Canada. That was back when people watched TV. 
I'm just gonna check the camera again. Yeah, it seems to be holding up. So just south of here is Bloor Street, and that'll be the northern border of downtown. And in the video I posted, or will be posting this morning, I guess, it's not up yet. That one heads south down Young Street, starting from Bloor. It's always a gamble pointing the camera up when it's raining or snowing. And because the lens is so small, one little drop of moisture can really muck up the whole picture. Balzac's is not open. I'd love to grab something from there. It looks like the camera might have been hit. It looks a bit foggy when I looked at Balzac's. Seems okay, but just in case. That'll be the last time I do that, this walk. So I think I'm gonna finish just up ahead here at Blue Street. Right at the busiest subway station in the country. Used to be a Starbucks right next to that Timmy's. This entrance will take you down to line two. And that lady is in a full-blown snowsuit. And you know what? I don't think the subway's running yet. I think those people are there waiting for the bus. There's the Line 2 bus. So we are at Young and Bluer. That's a look into the Yorkville neighborhood. How do I not know when the damn subway opens? What time is it? It's 8 a.m. I can't imagine it would open at 9 a.m. That seems awfully delayed. And we've got a scramble crossing. There's a look north up Young. West along Bloor. East along Bloor. All right, I'll go south. Oh, and the wind has picked up. So now we're in downtown. I'm just going to duck into here for a second. Come on, Google. TTC subway hours. Well, this is embarrassing, but I don't like to hide anything. TTC service details. 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. on Sundays. 
It is 7.58, so we are in luck. I say that as I realize my microphone is covered in snow. I fairly expensive new microphone. So it's probably more convenient just to hop on the bus. It'll also drop me off closer to where I live. This is Hayden Street. But maybe I can catch that first subway train of the day. This is the southernmost entrance to Blue Young Station. Just realized I'm a dummy walking around with an umbrella in my hand. Oh, there's some kind of TTC meeting. I'll keep the camera away from them. I think recently the TTC has been frowning on this sort of thing. Even though it used to be right on their web page that you could record. So. Here's a million dollar question. Am I the only one down here? I am not. But I'm gonna throw my umbrella into my backpack here. Maybe I can keep the camera pointing at something interesting. All right, it looks like service resumes at 814. Okay, I think I'm probably just gonna go up and take a bus. I didn't realize that. So probably the first train from somewhere has to depart at eight and by the time it gets here, it'll be 814. That makes sense. And I hope you enjoyed this walk starting at Young and St. Clair, heading down the south side or the, the east side of Young, heading south from Midtown to Young and Bloor here in downtown. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel memberships in the description. I also have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there's a link to PayPal in the description. Anywho, I'm going to go catch the bus. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.